you found out uh, how rabid that snowboarding community can be. Uh, yeah, and you know what I also found out, and this is also true. Look, uh, you and I have been at this a long time. Yeah. What I said to Matt Lauer on the Today Show, and he laughed. It wasn't one of those forced television laughs. He laughed spontaneously because it was funny, and it was good-natured. And I was half poking fun at myself by saying, look, the, the world of the Olympics, and especially of the Winter Olympics, keeps evolving to the point where a guy like me has to learn what these new sports are. They keep inventing them. So the joke was half at my own expense. This is the kind of thing that I have been saying on the air in one way or another, including about sports that I love, like baseball, for 30 years. But now, in the new world, if that ticks off 500 people, which is a tiny, tiny, tiny fraction of those watching, they all have a megaphone. They all can go on social media. And the reaction can seem like a torrent when it's actually just a tiny trickle. And this is what you have to live with. But so you, you have said to decide, jackass. am I going to be bland forever? Never express an opinion. Never crack a joke. <laughs> never do anything that gets out of the most narrow and boring lane for fear that somebody's going to pitch a fit on the Internet. That's the real lesson of this. But you said jackass. That's what I think set him off. You could have said it in this way and had fun with it, but it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have gotten the, great, the, the reaction from Matt Lauer. Is there not a program called Jackass, or was there not a program called Jackass? I know, but, Jackass? but you're saying that they're sort of to be laughed at and with, and I think that's where the snowboarding community you know what, got Dale, so. Hey, you and I have had far worse things said about us, and we're still standing. What? We got over it. They'll get over it. <laughs>